So let's have a look at the Oxford Reverb. It's a big plugin with a lot of parameters. It's actually a stereo modeling reverb and not a convolution reverb, which means it actually allows for control over more parameters than you'd find on other reverb plugins, such as convolution reverbs. You can really create unique spaces and shape the reverb till your heart's content. It's got two independent signal paths, the early reflections and the reverb tail, and you can blend very smoothly between the two of them. It's even got an equalizer. It's got an Oxford EQ built in so you can colour the output of the reverb, which is very useful. So it does have perhaps more controls than the average user might need, but you can really go in and define rooms and create unique spaces from scratch. Uh, let's have a look at these. You've got different shape rooms you can start with, then you can decide if you're at the front of the room or the back of the room or somewhere in between, the size of the room, width, taper, etc, etc. You've got absorption controls so you can reduce you know the HF content, um, sort of define kind of what's in the room, what's sucking up the, the high frequencies. So um, yeah, really kind of a, a lot of parameters to really tweak and define a unique space. If you're not into um, all the hard work of creating a, a, a space from scratch, um, there's a lot of great presets from drum rooms, churches, some great emulations like EMT, there's a Lex plate, some classic ones there, some vocal reverbs. So you can use any of those as a starting point and then just fine-tune until you get exactly what you're looking for. So let's have a look at the Oxford Reverb on a vocal. Now here we've got a very subtle, small room set up, um, which has just created a natural cool. space around the singer. This is probably one of the Oxford Reverb's um, strengths, is it can handle very small, transparent reverbs very realistically. Um, no need for huge, great reverb tails. You can define a nice, small space around a singer very well. As you can hear it here. Cast a spell with cinnamon. The kindergarten. Not much reverb, but if I bypass it, school, I missed your you soon notice that it's not there. But it was cool, Back in. And I learned how to write my name. It's completely it dry, it sounds like you're in the studio. Um, but with it in, neighbor kids outside just sounds like a very realistic, small space around the singer. Now, of course, you can have your big long uh, reverbs. You can just listen to the reverb tail if you want. Or we can just listen to the early reflections. We can decide what shape of room we want to be in. We can put the position at the front or the back of the room. Remember, we're just listening to the early reflections. Neighbor kids outside are raking leaves. We can increase the absorption so we can kind of add furniture and curtains to the room or take them away so it's just like an empty stone room. Or we can blend between the early reflections and the tail to get a more natural sounding space. And don't forget we've got the EQ as well we can utilise if we want to add, make a really bright reverb. We can just add some HF content there. Bit over the top, just exaggerating it. So you can really define the space very accurately. Or, as I said before, you've got some great presets. So let's have a listen to um, some of these. We've got like a chamber, a vocal. So we've got some nice emulations as well. Um, let's take one of these. There's also some great post-production presets. So something like a 70s Cast Phillips a box, like a radio. Cinnamon, the kindergarten a corridor, for example. Bedroom. You can see that we're really utilising the EQ curves here to create to create that sound. Um, what else is there? There's an intercom in a factory, which is fun. swimming pool and so it goes on so as you can see the Oxford reverb is really quite versatile and is ideally suited for both music and post-production so we talked about the Oxford reverb being an extremely flexible stereo modeling reverb with full control over all of its many parameters it has independent control of early reflections and reverb tail an integrated five-band EQ and over a hundred invaluable presets for music and post-production